Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the shape of riding animals like horses and camels such that you can mount and sit on their backs. And more importantly, such animals have been created with a subjugated nature that they are easy to tame and take control over. We learn the dua in this verse before riding animals or more broadly, any mode of transportation like cars, trains, and planes in these verses. Subhanalladhi sakhara lana hadha ma kunna lahu muqrineen wa inna ila rabbina lamun qalibun. And notice towards the end of this dua how Allah SWT links our worldly action to hereafter. So as we start any journey and on board a vehicle, we should remember that we might be going somewhere in this world right now, but our journey to hereafter is also underway and we will be returning to our Lord. Narrated by Abdullah bin Umar anhu in Bukhari, Nabi Sallallahu said, Kun fi dunya ka'annika gharibun aw aabi wa sabil. Be in this world as if you were a stranger or a traveler along a path. So this is what we should reflect upon when we are going anywhere in our daily life. You know, you go in the morning towards your work or to your school. Think about when you start your journey, you are already on a journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hereafter. And how should you spend your day, that day that you've just started, that journey that you've just started, you're in the middle of another journey already. How should you be living that life so that you're prepared for what happens after? Coming back to the verse, we just learned the dua for riding any transport. Let's also learn the dua when you're starting a journey. So narrated by Abu Hurairah and Sunnah Nabi Dawood, Nabi Islam would say the following before a journey. Allahumma anta sahibu fi safari wal khalifatu fi ahli. Allahumma inni a'udhu ka min u'atai safari wa ka'abati al-munqalabi wa su'u al-manzari fi ahli wal mal. Allahumma atbi lana al-arda wa hawwin alayna al-safra. O Allah, you are the companion in the journey and the one who looks after the family. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from the difficulty of traveling, finding harm when I return, and unhappiness in what I see coming to my family and property. O Allah, make the length of this journey short for us and the journey easy for us. I mean, such a beautiful dua. So try to memorize this or any other dua you would find in books about starting a journey. And inshallah, it will give you the protection throughout that, even upon your return.